Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Lots of low clouds for us here so far now into the early afternoon hours of our Friday. We're looking live from our Harrisburg Skycam. Uh, this is kind of what we're seeing across most of the area, and I say most because there are some locations that are out in the sunshine warming up very quickly. Not the case here in Harrisburg, though. 59 degrees with an east wind at 7 miles per hour. It's that east wind that's driving that stable air off the ocean, locking it up against the high terrain spots out to our west, and that is why we've got these low clouds hanging around. We typically see this uh, actually decently often here across the Susquehanna Valley through the spring months. Uh, we're going to see it once again here through the afternoon, starting to try and erode away from the south and also from the west. But notice our western counties seeing a little bit of sunshine right now. Also a couple of showers around the region, too. But later on today, we could see some thunderstorms firing up in the high terrain spots out west and they'll be headed eastbound. Now they will be running into what looks to be some pretty stable air. So uh, in terms of how strong those storms get, well, the more sunshine you see, the better chance at uh, maybe seeing a gustier storm or two in your area. But again, those east winds locking those clouds in a little bit, uh, a little bit different direction out to our west and temperatures are responding as a result in the low 70s, Lewistown and Chambersburg, upper 50s and low 60s elsewhere. So there's going to be a wide range of temperatures here in our neck of the woods here through the rest of today, mid 60s all the way up to potentially the mid 70s, mostly cloudy, but most of the area, some sunshine breaking through in our western counties though. And it looks like scattered afternoon showers and a few thunderstorms. Looks like probably late afternoon or closer to the evening in many spots or even into tonight for some as those showers and storms make their way eastbound. So again, a couple of rumbles of thunder not out of the question here tonight under mostly cloudy skies, lows near 60, and tomorrow we'll head back into the low to mid 70s. Could be a couple of showers around through the day. Looks mostly cloudy, but then it looks like some steadier rain starts to work in later tomorrow and as we head into your Sunday morning. So again, we're watching for uh, this little uh, wave of energy that's going to spark some convection, some showers and storms along the higher terrain spots out to our west. And we are currently in that stable air, that warm front just off to our south and west. So it's this area here where we'll watch for the storms to fire later today, and then they'll be moving eastbound. The Storm Prediction Center thinks that maybe there could be a stronger storm in some of our southwestern counties, although I'm leaning more towards, say, this area for that potential. That would be just to our west or maybe getting into some of our western counties later on this afternoon. So here's a look on predictor, the timing, the storms they fire on the high terrain, and then they try to drift eastbound later this evening and overnight. Could be a couple of rumbles of thunder tonight. Looks like it's out of here, though, by tomorrow morning. Could be a shower or two as we head into the afternoon hours, but it's later in the evening and overnight into Sunday that we'll see another wave of rain arriving for us, and that's going to set the stage for what looks to be a pretty rainy Sunday ahead, although the rain should shut off later on in the day. Going into Monday, it's warmer. Also, a isolated shower chance there, 76 for the high heading up to a little, a little bit warmer weather for the middle of the week, and, but we'll watch for more shower chances again later on into about Thursday and of course to close out the next work week. So kind of a rainy stretch the next mm. three days, but we do have some signs of improvement. It looks like to start off next week.